we're gonna try to just our little gas maker goer in there and see if it'll work that way. Hey, welcome back guys and gals, young and old. Appreciate you watching our stuff. You found Freedom One Garage. And today, we're going away from the automotive spectrum just a little bit. And we're bringing you back to Maytag. Go back into the uh, videos. I'll put one right up here somewhere. And we've got, well, it's sitting right over here. We've got this cute little 19, move welder. 1939 twin cylinder two stroke Maytag gasoline engine. Now way, way back out here in the country, like in the heartland areas, uh, some folks who farmed and lived outside of the cities didn't have electricity. So they did have washing machines and they were actually gas powered. You can look it up on the interweb if you don't believe me. Uh, so this engine runs great and go back and look at the, the video again uh, but our goal all along was you know it's cool to have a cute little running engine like that but we kind of like to put the whole piece puzzle thing back together as in we want a washing machine for it so digging around on the marketplaces thought we had one found not too far away but um, here's a little bit of a rant for you if you're going to put stuff on the marketplace to sell, maybe you respond to the folks that uh, look you up. But here or there, uh, the first person that we thought we were going to get parts and pieces and washing machines and all kinds of stuff from, uh, that kind of flaked away. Uh, but we did end up finding another one just a few miles down the road, actually. We got us a square tub cast maytag washing machine with the ringer um it's missing the lid but that's okay this thing was super cheap um and it's missing the emblem here uh it sits a little crooked right now i'm not sure why but reportedly everything works on it so now it's got the electric maker goer what we're gonna do is get a little bit bigger piece of lumbar to put under there and we're going to try to just our little gas maker goer in there and see if it'll work that way i think it will i think they made the same dang thing um gas and electric it's just the rpms is that's going to be the issue but let's go through this give you a quick walk around and see if it runs here so again uh, this is your gear shifter engage neutral engage neutral um belt drive there's a belt down there and i did kind of look you look down in there the pulley on the electric motor appears to be very similar in size diameter wise to that of the gas engine that we have so i'm thinking so far so good uh, and then so this is your clothes maker cleaner and it goes back and forth like that it's in neutral now so you just kind of free wheels and here's your clothes squeezer up here and it goes that way and that way so uh, allegedly but let's plug it in and and just see I mean the worst that can happen is we'll have sparks from that way where the electrical panel is Okay, there goes the plug-in. Oh, motor's running. Now, POV shot. Oh, look here. We've got washage. And, oh, look at that. It's a little under. Oh, yeah, it's going to be nice. Ah. And then, 
again. It goes the other way. There's no clanks, no rattles, no grinding. Now the tub probably leaks, but we'll get to that and find out here in just a little bit. We're gonna vacuum the big debris out of there and uh, we're gonna get the right to work on this thing and see, you know, we got a leveler. It's still a lot unlevel this way, but uh, we'll get that figured out. And then we're just gonna throw our 72 on there and see what it does. So stand by for hot rod washing machine stuff. I'll give you a close up, here it is running. And it's spinning at a pretty good clip, guys and gals. Um, we can probably, we'll probably be able to get a badge off of that motor maybe that says what RPM it is. But it's, it's going right along. Uh, so we'll see. But it's quiet just the way it is. It won't be quiet anymore, you know, once we put the two stroke on it. And then, forgot to show you, this here's the drain. And it just, this is the gravity drain. There's nothing fancy about that. It just comes off and then drains out to wherever. So that's it. We're going to throw the 72 on here and see what happens. Doing today. Kind of getting a feel for how this may be able to happen. So did some eyeball measuring and then did some more accurate measuring. And it looks like we can mount our engine. I'm just kind of throwing stuff together right now. This way, so and then we hit the washer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, our issue is this we've got a sizable flywheel on our engine, um, which I'm okay with, and we're gonna leave it, but that interferes then with the gearbox of the washer a little bit. And we'd like to mount this on top of this rail. That's how the electric motor was attached, on a board on top of these cross members that keep the legs together. But the thinnest material we have that we're okay with setting this engine on and bolting it to is a quarter inch thick plate steel and we if we even if we go a quarter inch above here we can't slide our engine back to where it'll kick and where we can get the belt on it correctly we're gonna have to come up with an alternative and that might be interesting all right here's what i'm trying i can't no matter what i do uh this wait, where are you are you in frame here yeah this tray where the electric motor mounts uh, from what i can tell looking on other youtube videos and that sort of stuff um the gas motor trays are different and I think they sink down in the middle or mount differently that they the engine hangs lower than the electric motor does. Um, so I tried every way I could think of to mount the tray either on steel below um, hanging up from the bottom of that tray or sitting on top of the tray and in order to have room for the kickstart 
and I have the belt. Um, you know, you can, there's some leeway there with the belt, an inch or two either way, about an inch either way. Uh, it just, uh, there's, it won't fit. It, it won't fit. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to lower this tray by about three quarters of an inch, which means lowering the hole on each leg, the threaded hole that mounts to that tray on each leg by three quarters of an inch. And that should give us just enough room, just a, just enough, to mount, to put quarter inch plate steel on top of that tray, mount our 72 engine to the quarter plate steel, and have the adjustability for the belt, and it'll work with the kickstart, and the exhaust won't bind, and you know all that good stuff. So. Uh, I was able, I already had this one off and back on. This one has been drilled and tapped. I'm on number two. For number two, I had to take the gear shifter off, uh, which was just a roll pin, um, and then get it out of there. Uh, number three back there should be pretty straightforward, just like number one, easy. Number four, however, is the part that runs up and has the shaft in it for... The rollers um, so number four might have to get drilled on the washer I might not take it off these I've been taking off and and doing them on the drill press so they're nice and square and all that jazzy jazz so anyway we're drilling and tapping four holes one in each leg just so we can lower this tray down three quarters of an inch and hopefully fit our machine underneath this washer not a lot of investment here um, we paid 20 bucks for this so it's going to be okay if we drill and tap some holes it's not a it's not a priceless antique so let's go get this one drilled and uh, we'll go from there like that we got another hole got two more legs to do and then we'll see how it all kind of turns out I guess okay I got updates we lowered the tray thing here about three quarters of an inch drilled and tapped holes in each one of these support legs so that all dropped down we've got it sitting on a one by now which is roughly three quarters of an inch. We're gonna put quarter inch plate steel on the uh, tray down here, and that'll give us just enough room. We can slide this over and adjust for the belt and everything else. So, I think we're on the right track, finally. We just say eat some quarter inch plate steel. So, plasma time.
here is the final mounting plate for our Maytag 72 twin and our Maytag washer. Ignore these numbers, they're just from other stuff, but uh, had to get a little more intricate. We had to have a little cut out here so that little tin cover on the engine wouldn't hit. And then we had to have a hole for our fuel drain. And then we have two holes on either end for uh, the clamps that clamp it to the bottom bracket. And then two holes on either end for the actual feet on the motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up. We're gonna clean up the washer and make sure it holds water. I haven't even checked that yet. Um, and then we'll put a little primer and some black paint or something on this just so it doesn't rust too bad. And final assembly tomorrow and we'll see what it does. I think it's mounted. And I think just get it tight, right? We're gonna roll it right outside and uh, see if it'll bark off. I just pressure washed the engine, so I want to run it anyway. Just kind of degrease the engine there. Now we even put water in the tub and we got a couple cotton shop rags out here. So let's see if it'll start again. Maybe not. Hey folks, the Maytag washer works. We're gonna take it to car shows and show it off and just keep it around here at the shop and hey, Jalen's photobombing me, but 
You know, we might even wash some stuff in it from time to time. And, you know, we need a clothesline, I suppose. It doesn't dry, but it rings out really well. So, hey, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'd appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one.